Hello there. <clears throat> All right. Quarry workers, which pop out right about there. And then we got... Um, let's just put this there. They're really good. That's definitely an alpha tower, though. A meta tower. Where do we want this? Looks good. Let's jump right in. So I want to go on a little rant today. Crusader snack style. Though not as legendary. Because if you know who I'm referring to, he has like the best unfiltered stuff of all time. He has the words. He has all of the best words, in fact. Do these need to move back? Look at these dinosaurs. They're already freaking breaking through. What the flip? Kingdom Rush Vengeance, when did you get hard? No. No. No! I'm not dealing with that crap. Great job reaching this deep in the original world. Now try your hardest to not be devoured. All right, let's try this again. Um, These guys. And these guys. And these guys. And these guys. Which are gonna suck because these quarry workers aren't in range of this. Frick! Everything I do is wrong! So I need to go on a rant, guys. Look at these guys. Die. So what's my rant gonna be about? Basically, I suck. Okay? I haven't been playing this game because vanilla vengeance generally sucks. But I'm going to tell you something that I don't want you to repeat to anyone else. I actually like this new update officially right now. I might get bored of it or figure out something, but right now I like it. In fact, it's one of my favorite updates I've ever experienced. Why is that Trevor? Why? Because I lose all the time. I haven't beaten a single level without losing any hearts yet. And I've tried 10 attempts or so. That's crazy. Of course, I'm playing on impossible. But still, like, I'm convinced that if you use all of the bad towers, which I'm not even doing here because I've given up on that. Die, stone beard germans are die! Tentacles of doom! I should have done it when there was those two guys, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is just really hard. I suck at it, but losing sometimes make it more fun. Let me repeat, losing sometimes actually makes things more fun. If you're a real gamer, then losing and having a challenge is fun. I shouldn't insta-call, but eh, whatever. Is this going to do enough damage to use my tentacles right now? Mm, I don't know. Okay, so they need to move up now. They're going to get annihilated, so they need to boost. I think I need this guy down there. Mm, I should probably use this. That's, that seems like a good time to use that. All right, they look like they're fine up there. This is one huge disadvantage of playing on phone rather than uh, Steam. Okay, let's get this broken ability because I think I just, I need it, okay? I need it. Why am I using gobbler rings, guys? First of all, let's repeat the first craziest thing you've ever heard me say. That's right, I like this update. It makes me like Kingdom Rush Vanilla Vengeance. Vanilla just means the original game and not the hacked version, which is Kingdom Rush Revengeance. If you don't know what that is, have you been living under a rock? Like Patrick Star? Probably, because oh, I got a micro. Move. Move. Get up there. Kill these flying dinosaurs. I like all the people who comment that say they're not flying dinosaurs. They're like flying lizards. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I also really think it's stupid how they just 
with scientific discoveries, if that's what you want to call them. They keep changing how dinosaurs look very significantly every like five to ten years. And some of you might say, well, that's how science works. We don't know what the truth is, and then we find better truth, and then we update our theories and everything until it's more accurate. And I get that. But at the same time, just adding these like little feathers all over the tails of velociraptors is just like, okay, are you guys trying to make that fit in with what you're finding? Or are you actually starting to find that pterodactyls were just birds or they were a transition species? Or you're just you're just adding it in. They're just I'm sick of the over feather -fying. Is that the word that I want to use? Over over feather feather -fying? of everything. I'm like, you don't need to throw feathers on every dinosaur looking creature in the world to make your point. We get it. We get what you're trying to say. Okay? That's one rant. I'm sick of them just putting feathers on everything. Like, oh, actually, a T Rex was actually just a, a big chicken. And uh, so we'll put some feathers, but not like all over it, just like a couple feathers on the bridge of its nose and nowhere else to show that that's where birds came from. And I'm just like, okay. Like, I, it just, it's really frustrating. Like, why didn't they know back in like the early 2000s and everything? Why didn't they have fossilized? feathers on top of freaking birds or not birds on top of dinosaurs like why are they only finding them now i don't understand like i'm not really saying like what i think about all of it besides that like it seems like in these games and just like everything that's happening they're like oh every dinosaur in the world needs feathers now <laughs> it's like is that are you trying to reflect what happens in real life okay i need to freaking stop messing around i want to stall these guys a little bit Dang. See, this is why this thing is fun. These guys are tough. 2300 HP, high damage. That is fun, dude. I actually like this just for the stalling. Just for one tower. Like, I think I might just leave it at level one because it's so expensive to move up otherwise. And I like this for stalling. Goblerangs actually seem like they have more of a place now obviously i think bone flingers in 99.9 .9 of circumstances are just gonna be better because of dps and all of the blocking and like the skeleton knights that bone flingers send out have enough damage and hp on their own to be pretty respectable it's crazy all right where's the end range of that okay oh no Woo! that was close Get down there. Wait. Are they popping out even further now? What's happening? I swear those guys were popping out earlier before. Is that a thing? That is so stupid. Okay, get your broken arrow ability. I freaking need it. I haven't beaten any of these on impossible with no lives lost yet. I don't even think I've three starred them on impossible yet. Okay, this wave isn't that bad. We got some pterodactyls coming prehistoric dwarfs that are slow but they're going on like a relatively easy path for me to counter so it should be okay see some of these some of these uh quarry worker guys are popping out earlier than others down here that's tricky man there's this word called micro and i never do it <laughs> gotta get better at it it's harder on the phone i used to think that it was easier okay okay so those guys are gonna freaking just straight up teleport over there thanks to those flowers that's why this choke point up here is so tricky all right so let's use this now because they're together and that's going to do a pitiful um are you serious that did like 300 damage not even that's insane that is so freaking weak i like these guys though they slow them down a lot all of those like constant stunnings it like halves the speed of them at least all right we need what do we need back here i don't want my hero to die because he's offering healing and stuff should i throw some dark knights up there get him gobbies Come on. No. 
No. Now look what I have to deal with. This freaking impossible to kill guy right here. Goodness. I gotta panic build all this crap. Just so they don't... Oh, there's another one! No! This is hard. Alright, there's not a lot else going on. That guy looks good down there. Should be good. Put this here. It looks like some good damage. Good. Good. Do these guys even want to fight that? I don't know if that's worth it. I think I'd rather just have them stay out of range and just snipe them. Wow, we didn't lose a heart there. First time for everything. Try not to sell towers too much. Like, just leave those guys alive back here on the left. Because I'm, I'm, I just panic sell a lot, and that's a really bad habit. Not the bees, not the bees. I don't know if that's really worth it, money-wise, still. Oh, shnikes. Oh, shnikes. Need some help down there. Get them, dude. Okay, this guy made it all the way up there. Now he's going to be really hard to kill, which is annoying. My gobbler ring is like, can't even reach him. And these dinosaurs are flying in. Frick, man. Get up there, hero. Oh, man, this is freaking, this is crazy. This is so difficult. Look how fun this is. It's like the devs realized that Kingdom Rush Revengeance was so popular because it was finally difficult that they enacted all of those changes into this update, basically. About freaking time, too. Okay, I'm spamming that. I don't even care. No! Woo! Somehow we survived that. That was crazy. All right, now let's get these guys over here. Um, I don't think that's really worth it. We do need to upgrade this, though. Why am I using Gobbler Rings now? That's another good question. Thanks for asking. I'm using them now because these enemies are slow and bulky and can be stunned by them and hit. You can clearly see that the boomerangs are hitting the guys over and over again. And that's very satisfying. And the real reason, okay, let's be honest here. The real reason I'm using gobbler rings now instead of uh, bone flingers is just because bone flingers are like too good. But like I saw that Eminem LH was doing it and I was like, all right, there has to be you know, something to this. Stunnage, get that stunnage going. I think I want this here because this will slow them down so that the boomerang can hit like all of these guys every time it throws, which would actually be more DPS than bone flingers, even with all of the barracks that they provide probably. Yeah, that's right. I just said it. In this situation, bon uh, gobbler rings, at least like for when guys are lined up and there's a lot of these slow bulky moving guys that have like no armor specifically oh crap no no oh no get up there holy crap those guys are strong wow no 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 okay now i have to panic sell get over there you idiots Uh, they are totally going to break through. I am, like, screwed. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I have barely survived that crap. Oh, I, and I lost two hearts somehow, so one of them made it through. So I'm already freaking failing. This is so difficult. It's crazy. The gobbler rings can't even reach all the way up there. Jeez, this is crazy. Wow. 
I am actually impressed and bewildered by how fun but also difficult this is. I'm actually like gonna lose here it looks like. This is probably not a good tower to be having here. Okay, Dark Knights, you did it. Good. Gobbler rings. Um, they're hitting a lot of people right now. Look at that line they're hitting in. Okay, you guys are being useless, so you need to, like, freaking get up there and do something. Jeez. No! This is the end. This is the end of me getting three stars. Ah! This is so freaking difficult. What the heck? I need to just copy somebody else's strategy. Like, this is insane. This feels like revengeance. It, it really does. I think the better thing would be to just, like, spam more, uh, elite harassers. Man, they die fast to those, uh, prehistoric dwarves. That's crazy. This is crazy. And then you got these dinosaurs breeding down here. <laughs> Off of my soldiers. That's so savage. I can't believe how much I like this, guys. I can't believe how good gobbler rings are in this. They're they're actually like really good. They probably do the most DPS for you know slow enemies, especially when you combine them with Shaolin Temple, which is also really good at killing all these flying enemies. I wouldn't say killing them. I would say maybe when it's maxed out, but like it's really good at stalling them. Look at this. I'm freaking. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. No, get him, get him, get him. Come on. What the heck was that? This is insane. This update is crazy. This mini campaign, dude. This is so difficult. I can't even beat it when I'm trying. I can beat it with Blazing Gem and Bone Flingers, but like... I mean, maybe I should have upgraded this gobbler ring right here like fully really early on this is crazy this is absolutely nuts i can't believe how much i like this and how challenging it is yeah my strategy isn't optimal and i've only tried each level about three or four times and this tower has no place honestly it's too much support and not enough damage for how much it costs it's probably better just to leave it at level one but this is crazy. I mean, insta-kills seem like they would be really, really good here. We still have the boss coming up, and, like, none of our towers are going to be by the boss, which is just ridiculous. I don't even know what would be good for the boss. Probably elite harassers. So move them up there. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what I'm doing. This needs to be sold, honestly. Um, I need elite harassers for this boss. I forgot to move my hero up there. That's not good. Here comes the dino. What else do I put here? I'm not super worried about this boss. Surprised they didn't put feathers all over him like an idiot. 90, 3,500 HP. They should have just made him like completely immune to, uh, completely immune to magic so that you can't use blazing gem whatsoever on it. I feel like that would have been better. Uh, what do I do here? 
I mean, this is fine. He's already half dead. I could probably move these guys over here now. Is that even hitting him? Five hearts. Man, this is freaking crazy. This is nuts. Look at that. All these guys sneaking in down here. No. I'm going to freaking lose. This is this is crazy, dude. My dudes and dudettes. This is nuts. How do I get my guys to like target the boss right now? Get over there. Get that boss. Get him. All right. I got him with the tentacles. Guys, my main points of this video was just that, like, I really like this update. I'm admitting it. I keep losing to it. I haven't beaten any of them on Impossible with no lives lost yet. And I don't want to just, like, copy everything that Eminem LH or at Gokin or the last chef that's what that is or or any other respectable players are doing like I, i'm trying to figure it out and not just use blazing gem bone flingers because that combo is just unstoppable basically with the dps and the blocking and everything um but yeah this is this is genuinely really fun and this is where i'm at right now these levels are really fun because they're hard and i keep losing anyways thanks for watching if you make it through this uh insanely long video you're a genuine fan I love you.